The Ricoh MP25 on 55 copier is undoubtedly one of the most popular office devices currently available on the market. It has earned recognition for its solid and well-thought-out design, which translates into reliability and an attractive price. Like any piece of equipment, this model is not entirely free from faults. Technical issues do occur, although they are most often caused by user error. Resolving them can be time-consuming, which poses a challenge for both service technicians and users expecting a quick fix. Today, join me as I tackle a stubborn issue with the automatic document feeder. Naturally, I started by replacing the paper feed roller, the separation roller, and the feed belt. I also inspected the clutches and all other moving components within the feeder. Unfortunately, despite these efforts, the issue persisted. So I begin the search for a potential fault. I check whether all components are in their proper place and make sure none are dislodged or broken. Naturally, I also inspect the machine for any bits of paper that might be obstructing the path of the original. I'm looking for any foreign objects. At this stage, a flashlight is essential. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems I can see a foreign object on the right side. It looks like a staple or perhaps a piece of wire. I can't say for certain. Maybe it's supposed to be there? Either way, I need to access it, touch it, remove it, or at least try to move it. I'm now almost certain that this element doesn't belong there. I need to secure the guide rail to avoid accidentally damaging it. This has to be a safe and controlled repair. There's no room for mistakes. I absolutely can't allow that metal piece to fall deeper into the machine. Now I'm absolutely certain it's a paper clip. People really can put just about anything into these machines. I've seen money, coins, staples, even a pen. I came here to party. I'm not gonna lie. To call up somebody. Cause I ain't got the time. No, no. I'm getting myself in the best way. I'm gonna pretend it's my birthday. There's still the matter of checking whether the automatic document feeder is working properly. I'll try scanning a single sheet first, then a few more. We'll see what happens. Fortunately, the paper feed rollers and the belt are new, and the foreign object that was blocking the paper path has been removed, so I'm hopeful everything will run smoothly. We'll see. All right, everything looks good. As a bonus, I'll show you how to enter the service mode on this copier and where to find the counters that need to be reset during maintenance. So once you've completed the servicing, navigate here and clear the counters.
Since we're already discussing this copier, it's useful to know how to perform a reset after an error related to the fuser unit appears, indicated by the codes SC544 or SC554, known as the fuser reset. This reset is carried out in the device's service mode. Here are the general steps on how to do it. Remember, for the reset to be successful, you must first install the Pico Fuse safety fuse in the copier. This fuse is not included with the machine by default and needs to be installed upon the first fault. If you found our video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and comment. It's a signal to YouTube's algorithm to recommend this video to more people, helping our channel grow. We don't only work with Wicocha copiers, we also service Minolta and Kyocera machines. Here's a sample of what we do in our daily work.